Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Xavier here. In last video, you guys wanted me to basically bring up the current uh, geopolitical and economic state of our game, and so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. So, uh, we're going to be talking about the cooked level. How cooked is Rogue Demon? One being that Rogue Demon is flourishing and successful, and ten being that it's got one foot and four toes in the grave. So, let's go ahead and discuss it. I would personally put Rogue Demon's cooked rating at anywhere between a four and a six. Okay? I don't think Rogue Demon... Rogue Demon's like... Rogue Demon's kind of like GTA 6 right now. Rogue Demon's GTA 6 right now. They're kind of just fumbling by not releasing, fumbling the bag. But when they do cook and release, it's going to be saved. But here's the problem. So listen, we have pretty much one whole big saga era series of Demon Slayer, right? The Infinity Castle and the battles. My thing is, look. Rogue Demon made some critical errors by making their movesets paid that's the first thing why would they make their movesets paid i can't i'm gonna keep complaining about this they said it was for revenue but there was easily other things to do you know what i mean <clears throat> demon soul simulator has a higher player count than rogue demon and that's not good now what i will say is this as much people as much people want to cook rogue demon listen let me explain something to you guys Demon Slayer as a whole isn't actually doing that well. So like Demon Blade, Project Slayers, Rogue Demon, Demon Soul, pretty much all the top Demon Slayer games are all pretty much within like 500 players of each other. So there's really no Demon Slayer game that's actually doing exceptionally well. However, I think you all need to remember that think about when Demon Fall dropped that massive update. It was beating every Demon Slayer game massively. Think about when Rogue Demon was up. It was beating every Demon Slayer game massively. And I very well think Rogue Demon is in the position to do so. I'm going to say this again. Listen, I'll say it as direct as possible this time. If you really want monetization, what I can almost guarantee would make more money than making movesets paid is auras, bro. Imagine my sword was glowing golden. You know what I mean? Let me let me show you guys what I mean. So just as an example, we're gonna hop in my game. You guys can buy it if you'd like. <clears throat> Pin comments below. But just for example, I want you guys to really see, bro. Because I'm I'm so sick of this. Tell me right now that you guys wouldn't buy this. Like, bro, would you rather buy a moves? Like, let me show you guys. So, um, I don't even know where it's at. Uh, am I still loading in? Okay. All right, we should be loaded in. So, um, okay, let me give you an example. So look, right, you already seen that flame sword aura, right, on me. So look at all these auras, right? Thunder, for example. Bro, you're trolling me. I would personally buy this. I would personally, okay, is it not going to show? Um, there we go. Where's thunder at? I'm so laggy. What's my FPS? God, I'm so poor. Oh, wait. I'm actually stupid. I'm clicking on the Thunder Sword instead of the Thunder Aura. Okay. My bad. So, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Like, look at this aura, bro. This is sick, bro. And I'm sure they could probably cook something up, if not better. You know what I mean? Especially with the resources he has and whatnot. Like, bro, Fire Aura. Please, just make auras, bro. We'd easily buy this, dude. Talking about some titles and crap. Ain't nobody wants your titles, man. Nobody wants your titles. All in all, I hope Rogue Demon locks in, though. Because it's a, it's a good game, honestly. And there's a lot of potential with it. They just need to cook it up. You know what I mean? Cook it up, cook it up. Because, bro, 1,500, bro? Come on, bro. Come on. 